Hello, everybody. Welcome to your fifth grade everyday math lesson for lesson 8.3. Today, we are going to be working in our everyday math workbook, student volume two. We are going to be on page 283. This is where we're going to start. So today's lesson talks a lot about buying a fish tank. So you guys know that I have a little boy named Lincoln, and he loves his fish. And so he loves looking at the fish tanks and loves looking at all the different things. So we're going to talk a little bit about different kinds of fish tanks, different designs, and um, how we can find the volume when measuring our fish tank. Okay? So it says Glenn is buying a fish tank for his goldfish swimming. Swimming. Um, funny. Glenn learned that a one-inch goldfish needs 230 cubic inches of water to be healthy. So for one goldfish, they need 230 inches. To me, that's important, so I'm going to underline that so I have that in my mind. Okay. Swimmy is one inch long. So this is how much water and how much space Swimmy will need. Find the volume in cubic inches of each fish tank shown below. Well, we know when we find volume, we do length times width times height or base times height. Now, neither of these give us the base, so we're going to use the volume using the traditional length times width times height. My number model here will be 4 times 7 times 8 and a half. My number model here, 4 times 12 times 5 and a half. Let's find the volume of this fish tank right here. Do the math. What is 4 times 7 times 8 and a half? All right. 4 times 7, I know, is 28 times 8 and a half. I'm going to start by multiplying by 8. 8 times 8 is 64. Carry my 6. 8 times 2 is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So 224. And then I'm going to multiply by half. 28 times 1 half is 14. So 224 plus 14 is 230. And this is inches cubed. 238 inches cubed. Okay, great. Now let's do the second box. So we're going to do this one over here. 4 times 12 times 5 and a half. Go ahead and do the math. What is the answer? All right. I know that 4 times 12 is 48. 48 times 5, 5 times 8 is 40, care of my 4. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 4 is 24, so 240. And then 48 times 1 half. Half of 48 is 24. Now I'm going to add those answers together. So 240 plus 24 equals 264 inches cubed. Which fish tank should Glenn buy for swimming? And why? Which one? This is a two-part question because you need to be able to tell me which one and why. Knowing that I want my fish to be healthy. If I know that he needs, he has to have 230. At least 230. And this is 238. It would work, but he couldn't get much bigger. Right? So in order for him to be happier, I think he would be better in a larger tank. So me personally, I would say he should buy tank two. He would... more room 
to grow. Now, if you said take one, that's fine. If you have a good reason, great. Again, it does say at least 230. And technically that one still works. Okay. Your reasoning is what counts. It has to explain why you have it or why you chose the one that you did. Okay. Now let's look at number three. Glenn also learned that the area of the base of the fish tank must, should be at least 30 square inches for the base. So now I need to find the base of these fish tanks. What is the area of the base of fish tank one? So we're going to do four times eight and a half. What is four times eight and a half? Well, I know four times eight is 32. Four times half is two. So 32 plus two is 34 inches squared. Now let's find the area of base for the base of fish tank number two. What is five and a half? times four. Too fast. All right, I know that five times four is 20. One half times four is two. So this one will be 22 inches squared. Uh-oh. Now which fish tank should we buy for Glenn? Why? Well, according to the rules, I need to have at least 30 square feet. And the one that does have 30 square feet is tank number one. So it has the right number of inches of water and the base is what it needs to be, right? So we should buy tank one because It is more than 30 inches squared for the base and holds more than 230 cubic inches of water. And I know earlier I said square feet. I meant square inches. I want you to go ahead and pause and write this down if you need to. Now have new criteria. We have to adapt and we have to adjust. Yes, this one holds more water, but it's tall and kind of skinny, so he wouldn't have much room to swim. This one has just enough and gives him plenty of room sideways to move around a little bit, right? Now we're going to go to page 284. 284, here we go. On page 284 in your math workbook, we are going to look at number of the question. It says, imagine that you're setting up an aquarium in your room. The pet store has four fish tanks available. All right. You have A, the underwater adventure. Tank B, the fish hotel. Tank C, we have fish palace. And tank D, we have water world, okay? So choose the tank that you would want for your aquarium. This one, you get to pick your own. This one, you get to use your opinion. Which one do you think is the best? Which one do you like best? What look is best for Now, I'm going to use Tank C. I'm going to use Fish Palace. The reason why is because I'm thinking about Lincoln. I know that he would be able to kind of stand in the middle here, and it would look like fish were kind of all around him. I think he would think that was really neat. So I'm going to use this one. Okay? If you used one of the other fish tanks, that's okay. That is okay. Now let's go 
let's do the questions. It says, what is the area of the base of your fish tank? Okay, so I'm going to separate my fish tank kind of in three pieces. Okay, I know that this one is 24 by 10. Okay. I know that this is also 24 by 10. Okay, so if this whole side is 24 and this is 14, that means this distance is 10 as well. Right? And then my distance this way is 24. So this is also 24 by 10. Ooh, I did that awesome. I did that easy. So this rectangle is 240. This rectangle would be 240. And this rectangle would be 240. Great. Now let's add them up. What is 240 plus 240 plus 240? All right. Zero, zero, zero. Four plus four plus four is 12. Two, four, six, seven. My answer is 720 inches squared. Awesome. Now, my number model is a little different. Now, I could do my number model as three different things and add them together. Or, since it's all the same, I'm going to do three times 24 inches by 10 inches. Same idea, same process. Uh-oh. Volume of the fish tank. I know for volume, I go base times height. I know my base. My base is 720. My height is 12. What is 720 times 12? Okay, I kind of zoomed in a little bit. So 720 times 12. Here we go. 720 times 12. 2 times 0, 0. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 7 is 14. X's and O's. 1 times 0. 1 times 2. 1 times 7. Add it together. 0 plus 0. 4 plus 0. 4 plus 2. And 8. Uh, 7 plus 1. So 8,640 cubic inches. That should have been your answer. 8,640 cubic inches. Whew. Pretty cool fish tank. All right. Now we get the information here. We get to plan what we get to put in our fish tank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write that up here. I have 8,640. 40 cubic inches, right? That is my total. Now, each tank for each fish that is one inch, each tank has to have 230 inches of water. The base should have at least 30 square inches. Well, we already know the base is perfect. It has at least 30 square inches. That's easy. That's done. Okay, but remember it's for each fish. Okay, so my base was 720. I'm going to divide that by 30 because if that's my base, how many fish just by the base can I have? What is 720 divided by 30? Here we go. Remember your zeros cancel out. Three goes into seven, two times, one left over. Three goes into two, four times. So at this point, I could have 24 fish just by looking at the base. Okay, now let's look at how much cubic inches of water. 
So now we're going to do the same idea. 8,640. And I'm going to divide by 230. What is 8,640 divided by 230? All right, let's do the math. Remember, my zeros cancel out. 23 goes into 86. Let's see, 23, 46, 69, 80, so 90. Nope, it wouldn't work. It's going to go in there three times. 3 times 23 is 69, and I'm going to subtract. 6 minus 9 you can't do. 16 minus 9 is 7. 7 minus 6 is 1. Bring it on down. 23 goes into 174. Let's see. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60. So 8. 8 times 3. Multiply 8 times 23. 8 times 3 is 24. Carry my 2. 8 times 2 is 16. Nope. That's 18. That's too much. 23 times 7. Let's try it. 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times 2 is 14. Plus 2 is 16. Oh, here we go. 37. Okay. With 13 inches left over. Now, According to the water, I can have 37 fish. But according to the base, I can only have 24. So I have to go with the smallest amount. So for this fish tank, I can only have 24 fish. So 24 inches of fish could live in my fish tank. Now is the important part. Now is a chance where you actually have to explain your thinking. So here's my thinking. If I measure the base, or wait, if I measure the water, I could have 37 fish. But, When you also measure the base, you can see the most you can have is 24 inches of fish. Now, when it says 24 inches of fish, that means if I buy a little guppy that's a half an inch, two of those is in about 230 gallons or 230 inches of water. Okay. If I buy a big long catfish that's four inches long, that takes up a lot of space in my tank. Make sense why we do it by inches? Awesome. Here we go. It says complete a goldfish order form on the next page. Explain how you know what fish you will choose to be healthy living in the fish tank. So we're gonna to go to the next page. Remember, the most we can have is 24 inches. So on page 286, let's look at what we got. All right, I can have 24 inches total. Can't have more than that. Now, I really think that this lion head goldfish, this one right here, looks really cool. And you know what? I don't want just a two inch one. I want a three inch one. And maybe, you know, maybe I want two of those because I think they're really cool. I'm going to order two of those. So two lion heads would take up six inches of space. Right? 24, that means I have 18 total. Okay. Ooh, these black dragon eyes are really cool. Kind of like how they look. I like that it kind of has the gold on the bottom. I'm going to order... I'm going to get four of them. Because I think they look neat. So two inches each times four fish, that would take up eight inches. Okay, 
So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. Okay, I have 10 inches left. What if I get...